It's not going to be the unbeaten season we were hoping, but it's still going to be a bloody good season. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Zagreb Save. I am Cultured Left Foot and we have been playing very, very well. Um, we were last together for the game in the cup against Opja and then Dynamo where... We got two very good wins in the episode. We then went and drew, drew with Slaven Belupo, 1-1. One, one. Uh, not not brilliant, but from away from home, I'll take it. Still unbeaten. Uh, then we beat Varazadin, 3-0. Vinko Palitin, after I said his finishing isn't that good, went and scored a hat-trick. Uh, then we played with Rudez, where we got a 3-3 draw. Even Mamut scoring two, one of them a penalty. And Josh De Silva stepping up with a lovely goal as well. Then... Yeah, they also scored three. So a 3-3 draw. Then we went through and got into the quarterfinals of the cup, beating Seveste 1-0 with Mamut getting the 87th minute winner. We then lost to Rijeka 2-0. A very disappointing performance. We actually played pretty well, just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. Um, and that came down to basically Perita and Mamut having terrible, terrible games. We then went and beat Lokomotiva 3-2. Um, very nice. Josh De Silva scoring a penalty. Mihakovic coming on as a sub and scoring two goals, if I remember rightly. Um, and Kristovic and Kolinga getting their goals. And we beat Osijek 1-0, which was very nice. Tom Zerga scoring an absolutely wonderful volley. Um, but we have lost two games this season because we lost to Heyduk 3-2. We were pretty much in control of the game until Ivan Mamut decided to get sent off. We actually made it 2-0 after his sending off and then the second half they really rallied. We struggled to deal with it. We had to play one of the youngsters. We had to play Gualga Gisli Bovaldsen. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for saying that. I could be horrendously wrong, but I've said it with confidence to say that I think I'm right. Um, we had to play him. He's actually very highly rated potentially-wise and he had to come in due to suspension and injury to Longcar and um, to Massey. And he didn't do too well, so he got subbed off and actually replaced by somebody else. Or did he stay on? He might have stayed on for the whole game. Um, but today we're then playing Hajduk again, so we've got them twice in four days because it's the Cup quarterfinals. We want to see if we can get through to the semis. And then we're going to play Istada, which will take us nicely into the off season. Or the winter break, I guess, is the technical term to call it. So two away games, one against Hajduk, one against Istra. Um, let's... Go and have a look. I don't think there's been any more signings since you've been away. No, Henry Cody was the last one that came in from Zurich on loan, organised by Brett Higgins himself. Um, we're trying to reduce our under-19s. It's just got ridiculous numbers in it. I mean, look at all these players here. Like, a lot of them are on youth contracts, but the annoying thing is, quite a lot of them have got good potential. Bektas is obviously, his contract is going to expire, so we're not going to renew it, although he is a team leader and a highly... And a, whatever it's called in Dynamics... <laughs> The team leader, highly influential, whatever it is. Uh, Runje, we're going to try and sell. Mikulic, we're going to try and sell. Klesic, we're going to try and sell. Levac, we're going to try and sell or release. Um, Kluk, we'll try and sell or release. And then everybody else is actually pretty decent. But you've got an option, really. You can see... you can. I can either do what I normally do, which is I'll just do all the January transfer window offline. And we'll come back for the next game after the winter break. Or... We can go through and I can show you a bit of a transfer special in the winter window and I can show you what I'm going to do with mentoring and training and things like that and how I do it. It's up to you. Let me know what you want to see. If you're more interested in just gameplay, obviously then just leave a comment down below saying you just want to see the games and I can delve in a little bit about what we're doing for mentoring. But with all the Americans and youngsters we're bringing in from foreign leagues, I'm going to set up mentoring to be a bit more proper, let's say. Um, but yeah, that's enough chatting. Let's get into the game against Hey Duke in the Cup quarterfinals, which is the furthest we've got in the Cup under my reign. So I am expecting us to go a bit further. Mamut is suspended after that red card that he picked up, so he misses this game. But we do have Azov in goal, Tumasi, Skender, Babok, and Friars at the back. Prince and De Silva in the middle, who no longer is best as a box to box. He's no, he's not best at anything, which is very annoying. Um, Zerga on the right, Mihakovic on the left, Bamba partners Peritin up front. So. Um, I think it was Ross Jacobs that said he's worried about goals. We need a 20-goal-a-season striker. Well, Peritin's not far off. Scoring eight before the winter break is uh, is pretty decent and puts him in line to become that possible 20-goal scorer. But, yeah, finishing eight isn't the best. I mean, it's not even really going up, which is annoying. And I don't know whether Hull are going to let him have us again next year or not. If they do, we'll, we'll try and get him back in because he is a very good player. But we do have a lot of strikers in the youth system and coming in from the Americas to uh, that can make it a little bit better. So I'm just going to say we're keen to avenge what happened 
last time we played because it was only in the last game and then we're going to passionately tell everybody that they can get out there and, and do their favorite. Obviously this is a bonus episode, it's going to come out on the weekend, something I don't normally do, but um, I've had a bit of time. So yeah, we'll see what things. just being rested, there's nothing more than that. Um, we've looked good in training, we've prepared for this, I have full faith in Bamba to get us a couple of goals and play that target man re role really well. Okaka has been a bit of a disappointment since signing, he hasn't really had the impact I wanted, um, that's definitely a foul there from Josh De Silva. But yeah, Okaka with his wages is a bit of a disappointment, Tumasi at right back has been absolutely superb, a Saltito fires that past the post and it looks like both teams are actually playing similar lineups to what they played in the league game. So it should be quite an interesting game if we can keep it 11 v 11 as Urseg shoots. It bounces around. It comes back to Urseg again. Another block on the shot, but someone was offside. Free kick. Saltido over the wall, but over the bar as well. And uh, nothing really worrying there. Babok has it. We're struggling to get out here and create chances. We haven't had a shot in this game yet. Eight minutes gone. It's all Zagreb. Uh, Zagreb. It's all. Oh, no way. Is that a penalty? What was that for? What was that for? Saltido literally didn't even jump. Tumasi gives away the penalty, even though I was bigging him up. Lopez oh, fires it into the top corner. An absolutely great penalty, that. And uh, Borja Lopez gets his second goal of the season for Hey Duke. And, yeah, nice palm trees in the background. I like it. What, what is this building? That's the weird building to have, isn't it? I'm, I've, I've been to Hey Duke Split Stadium and doesn't have a building like that at one end. So, thanks, football manager. Saltido over the ball with a free kick into the wall. Erseg... We'll try and keep it alive, and Lopez loses out. Mihakovic is there, but can't do anything with it. And uh, we need to up our game. Throw in. Hubert up to Erseg, to Clapan, to Hubert again, to Barry. Barry into Johnny Lucas. Johnny Lucas to Clapan. Clapan gets a shot off, and the team are letting me down on camera. I Avesov, I Avesov, Avesov. Why am I struggling to say his name? I've been saying his name perfectly all the time. Really should be doing better with that. That is really, really bad. Demand more. Come on. We're actually going to go to a bit of a wider system. Um, let's try and keep the ball a little bit. We'll stay at a high tempo. Just wondering what we need to do here. Let's counter-press them, see if that makes a difference. Try and get the ball back early doors when we lose it. Throw in. Zeki Fry to take it up the line to Politin. Politin turns, cuts in field. Back to De Silva, into Prince. We haven't really been our flowing selves of football, but this is a little bit better. Keeping the ball. Babbock goes long, finds Politin in space, cuts it across. Bamba! Yes, 2-1. Okay, Bamba gets his first goal of the season. I did say he'd have faith to play that target man role, but that was all about Babok's pass and Paritin's square pass here. Don't normally see Paritin do this. If he's in this position, he normally shoots, but lovely crossfield ball. Put the goal, basically took the goalkeeper out of the equation, and Bamba fires it in. 2-1. Our first shot on goal is a, is a goal. Terrible English. Free kick. Prince is over it. Has a go at goal. Oh, it's gone in. It's 2-2. Prince gets his first goal of the season as well. A wonderful free kick from Prince. And Frantinovic in goal. Wow, it looked like he should have got better. I think he got a hand to it. But was it right in the corner? I mean, that's one hell of a free kick in it. And Frantinovic couldn't get there. 2-2. Two -two. Laid back to the keeper. Frantinovic picks out Erseg really well. Who did a little ballet, ballet pirouette before he got the ball under control. Erseg into Lukanovic. He's got a bit of space. He shoots and hits the post. Nikanovic really should do better. Slack defending from Babok and Skender at the back. But it looks like Tumasi, who's the guy that's letting us down in the back four at the moment. Into half time, and we've staged one hell of a comeback here to get from 2 0 down to 2 2. In the first half, I'm very happy. I'm going to say I'm just pleased with how things are going. We're going to leave it at that, but we are going to bring on Daniel Alonka for Tumasi because he's not having the best of games at the back. But hopefully. Uh, long car can come in and just shore things up on that wing a little bit. It's hard because he is against their best player in Saltido, and it'll be. I think if if Haidu lost Saltido, it would be they would be completely different because there's interest in him. So I'm interested to see how that would work out if they do sell him. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Second sub for us is going to be Mayich on for Mihakovic. Mihakovic not getting into this game at all and struggling down that left hand side. The right back is. Uh, Hubert for them, 6.4. Not playing brilliantly, but uh, Mayich couldn't make the most of it. So he comes, uh, sorry, Mihakovic comes off to be replaced by Mayich, who hopefully will make more of that situation. Free kick, and Borja Lopez is over it into Johnny Lucas. Johnny Lucas out to Salamari, up to Saltido, into Salamari. Puts a cross in towards the back post. Zeki Fries had to win that header and did really well. Mayich then can't clear the ball. Hubert looks to shoot, and it goes past the post. With 20 minutes to go, we're going to make our final sub, and it's going to be Josh De Silva coming off to be replaced by Michael Mert. And we're going to go back to the two 
central midfielders on support in the middle and that is all she wrote for substitutions so we'll have to see how it's going but oh yeah obviously as well say the other t-shirt that's on sale this is a bit more of a casual one that you can get away with wearing in lots of different situations rather than the one that says cultured left foot blazoned across it this just has the little symbol in the corner which i really like oh you absolute twat prince has scored a goal and got sent off because he just hacked someone down and we've made all of our subs Hmm, let's drop Zerga back. We'll put Mert in there. Mayich there. Bamba can't play any of those roles. We're going to actually put Paritin in central midfield. Um, we're actually going to keep it as it was, but just drop Paritin in there and uh, put Bamba up front as a target man. And we'll go from there. We're going to drop it down to balanced because now we're going to be up against it. This is what happened against Rieka, and it completely changed the game as Mert feeds that into Zerga. Zerga to Bamba. Bamba shoots! Oh, he's put it in! It's 3-2 with 15 minutes to go as we're down to 10 men. This is uh, wonderful. Bamba gets a second goal. Maybe this is the game that's going to fire him into contention for a starting spot. Mamut suspension could cost him his first team spot. Zerga gets it in here, lays it into Bamba. Good touch, edge of the area. Lovely shot. Frantovic gets a hand to it but can't keep it out. And I'm going to just praise those guys and tell them they're doing very, very well. 10 minutes to go, roughly. Clapan back to Salami, into Saltido, up to Johnny Lucas, up to Clapan again. Clapan into Salmani, ball in Skender with a good header away. Lucas Espadagoza, can he get a shot off? No, say does. Good save from Aezov, and uh, it goes behind for a corner. And I'm just, uh, let's see how this corner plays out before I do tactical changes. Saltido puts the ball in, Skender heads it away. Johnny Lucas is on the edge of the box, gets a shot off, but goes past the post and... We're going to try and settle this game down a little bit. Don't need to counter press. We'll regroup and hold shape. We'll slow the pace down definitely. Uh, don't need to press them as much. Let them play it out from the back of the front and we'll start to stay on our feet in possession. We're going to go really low tempo, much short passing, and we're going to waste a lot, lot of time. We don't need to be more expressive. We don't really need to look for the overlap either. We can sit a bit narrower. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is hopefully how you hold out for a win in the league and the cup quarterfinal. Bamba, can he get his hat trick? No, he can't. Sade will pick this up. Come forward into Saltido, who they left forward. And I think that's Sade making a run next to him. But Saltido's going to go all on his own. Saltido with a bursting run through. That is never a penalty. Zeki Fries has got the ball perfectly. That is never, ever a penalty. That's a fantastic tackle when Lopez Borgia gets his second goal of the game. Oh, I hate it when you make changes and then they score. Uh, we can still slow the pace down a little bit. That's not a problem. Let's go back up to a normal tempo and we'll just go shorter passing. We won't waste too much time. We'll go back to the attacking width being there. So annoying. I mean, that was never, ever a penalty. And we've got to stay on feet stuff. Uh, Twisted as well. He clearly got the ball. Clearly got it. Football manager has had a nightmare there. As we tick down into the final minutes. It's 3 3. And I feel a bit robbed, if I'm honest. We've had a fantastic comeback here. And we've been robbed by a penalty that shouldn't have been a penalty. It looked like an absolutely great challenge. But with three minutes to go in injury time, we have Bamba looking for a hat trick. They've got Borgia looking for a hat trick, who's. God, it's got two penalties. But yeah, we need to just make this opportunity count. Longcar into Zerga. Zerga tries to fire it across, but Clapan is there. And now we're going to get caught out. Clapan comes forward. He looks like a really big lad. It's going to take a lot to get him off the ball. He looks to put in Sade. They've got runners in the middle. Sade puts it in. Skender heads it only to Saltido. Saltido tries to put a ball across, and it's blocked really well. And Mert will bring this away. And that may just see us to the end of the game as it goes out for a Hey Duke throw. And I'm not too sure if it goes to extra time, straight to penalties, or a replay. I should have done my research beforehand. But Saltido bursts through the centre of midfield. He comes forward. Mert makes a good tackle, but it falls to Sade. Sade is on the edge of the box. And that's another foul. And Zeki Friars has given away another one. And they're going to score because you just know they're going to score. Because that's what happens in Football Manager. People score from this situation when it's in injury time. <gasps> Luckily... Aesov makes a good save and holds on to the ball and that will probably see us through to full time which is when we find out what happens it's the end of 90 minutes so it goes to extra time do we get uh, an extra sub we will find out um i i am i'm very i'm happy i am happy i'm happy with what i saw let's keep going um who who is dead zeki fries is dead and he's having a pretty bad game by all accounts but we haven't got anyone on the bench to replace him do I bring on a striker do I leave it as it is um, no one's yeah no one's playing badly per se C 
could do Mitrovic for Friars at left back. He's just knackered, isn't he? That's that's probably why he's giving away the fouls. We do get a fourth sub, which is good. Well, we're going to play Mitrovic at left back. It's not his natural position, but he is a defensive player, so hopefully that will help out. Palacios comes forward down the left into Saltido. Great tackle, that one from uh, Skender, I think it was. Oh, it was Lonkar, sorry, Skender. Uh, and then uh, I'm losing track of who my players are. Zerga launched it forward. Lonkar with a throw up to Zerga. His poor head is really crap. Saltido comes forward, and he's fired it off the bar. Wow. Let's uh, tightly mark Saltido because he's got an awesome shot on him. And if we not, surely if we tightly mark him, it means he can't get those shots off. Throw in taken by Palacios deep in his own half for Hayduk, and it comes to Johnny Lucas. And uh, we're very close to half time and extra time. It says Spella goes into Yenyik. Yenyik comes forward into Lukanovic, who missed a glorious chance in the first half. Out to Said on the right hand side. Back across, and it's going to fall to Bamba. And if Bamba's that deep. It means we don't have anyone up there. Zerga comes forward, looks to run at his uh, defender that's marking him. Tries to put a ball into Bamba, but the heady clearance will fall to Mert. Into Zerga. Peritin's a lot of space in the middle, but Zerga goes wide into Mert again. Mert then uses Peritin, who comes forward with it. Is he going to get there? He is. He's, uh, he's going the long way around. Down the left-hand side, Peritin puts a ball across. Zerga's there, and he heads it straight into Fernandovic's hands. I'm not going to lie... We got a man sent off in the 74th minute and we've been playing very, very well and it's half time in extra time. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to ask the guys to get a little bit creative, see if that makes a difference as Mayich comes forward on the left-hand side from kickoff into Pelitin. Pelitin looks to run at the defence. Back to Mayich again. Mayich just holds it up. Will he go backwards with a sensible ball? He does into Babok and oh, I'm running out of breath. Vuker with a free kick up to Johnny Lucas. Flick round the corner to Hubei. Huja Bear up to Lonka. That's a really poor header away. Saltido keeps it alive. It falls to Espel. It goes over. Hits the bar with a speculative long range effort. We are four minutes away from penalties, but Saltido is over a free kick. Lays it back to Huja into Palacios. Zerga does well to get in the way of it. Palacios picks it up again. Out to Saltido. Saltido puts a ball into the box. Skender with a good header. Peritin can't really get it away. Yenyik picks it up. Out to Sade at the right wing position. Vuker. Vuker back to Huber. Huber. Takes his time. Left footed shot from range and Ayuzov touches it over the bar. Zagreb are putting all the pressure on at the moment. Saltido. Ball into the box. Header over the bar from Lukanovic. Ayuzov goes long with the goal kick up to Bamba who does win the header but couldn't direct it down to the right winger in Zerga. Palacios comes forward. Yenyik goes out to the right hand side for Hayduk. Said crosses blocked. Back to Hoiber. Hoiber puts a ball in. Skender gets his head on it and gets it away. Last minute and Saltido has a dangerous free kick and it's over the bar and it looks like it's going to be penalties. And Lonkar throws the ball forward. Johnny Lucas flicks it on. It goes out for another throw. And I think it's going to be the first penalty shootout of the save. Oh my god. Uh, our penalty takers aren't actually very good. So this could be a bit of a concern. As Zerga plays it into Peritin. Peritin up to Bamba. Now you've got to remember that our penalty takers were unbelievably bad that Oscar Ustari was our penalty taker when he joined the club. Um, yeah. So here we go. Okay. We have 16. I sort of want to see... Customise the current view. Can I add in uh, body language or whatever it is? Um, no. I can't. Okay. So, well, Bamba's got to go first. 16, 12, 13. That's incredible. Um, composure 11... I guess Mitrovic has to go in there as well. Um, if we go into displaying, okay, okay, calm ahead of penalty Peritin, calm ahead of penalty Bamba, calm ahead of Babok and Ayasov, Ay okay. Um, and then everybody else is displaying little emotion. So if we put Bamba, then Peritin, then Babok, and then we'll go for whoever. Um, it was. How do I go back to penalty takers? That would be really useful. Okay, I don't think I wanted to press that. No. Um, penalties? Aha, right, yeah, so. What did I say? I'd say Paritin was looking calm, so he can go in uh, second. Babok was in there as well. So put Babok in third, then Mitrovic fourth. He's got really bad penalties, although he was calm. I'm, I'm just happy for him to be calm in there. Composure, oh, I mean, Prince would be the one. Uh, maybe Longcar comes in, 7 and a 9. 5, 10, 10. Let's put Zerga in there. He's had a good 
a good run of form, and then we'll put long car as the sixth, and then after that, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But right, we're going to uh, pause this. We're going to go into um, behind the goal. That's the one we want for the penalty shootout. And first up is Sade. Comes up left-footed. Sade. Oh, he sticks into the bottom corner really well. Nothing the goalkeeper could do about that one. Bamba. Two goals in the game. Can he score from the penalty spot? Big Bamba. Oh, just about puts it in. Borja scored uh, two penalties in the game. Steps up. Ex-Barcelona player. And he's stuck that one in as well. Another one for Heyduk goes into the back of the net. And this is the traditional format. None of that ABBA format. Peritin is over the ball. Right-footed. The striker looks calm and composed, but he's missed. It's a great save from Frank Tovic. And Johnny Lucas now steps up and could put Heyduk into a very prime position if he scores this with his right foot. He takes it and he sticks it into the side netting. A wonderful penalty. And this is where it gets poor Babok. Centre back. He's been booked in the game. It's him against Franitovic. Babok steps up. Lovely penalty into the corner. Wonderful, wonderful technique from the centre back as Saltido. Possibly Heyduk and probably Heyduk's best player. He steps up. Can he make the save? No, he goes the wrong way and it's going to be that. We need to score and then Heyduk needs to miss. And up comes Mitrovic. Mitrovic steps up. He only came on as a sub as an emergency left back to replace Zeki Friars. And it's him against Franitovic. Mitrovic, right footed, will strike this penalty. Oh, what a penalty that is. Right into the top corner. That's a wonderful penalty. Right, now we need a big, big save. I'm going to click on his name. Come on, where is he? Taking his time. Ayesov comes in. Lukanovic, he missed a number of chances in the game, Lukanovic. Really should have got at least one goal in this. Steps up, right-footed, takes it. Oh, Ayesov, I thought you had saved it. I thought you had saved it. We go out at the quarter-final stage. We put up a really good fight against hey Duke. Um I can't be... I, I, yeah, I can't be mad at them at all. We've put up a very good performance there. But we go out. We got to the stage that the board wanted us to. Um, we, yeah, 10 men missed it. I mean, Paritin missing the penalty. Should never have put him second, but... Oh, well. It doesn't matter. As um, we get defeated. So we're out of the cup, which isn't too much of an issue to be honest we're going for this league this league uh, i'm going to say i'm going to issue a warning to prince um mikulic 1.1 okay so no and yes that's fine anything to get him off the wage bill prince accepts his warning ah oh, man right um i think that's gone on for a little bit longer than i thought with the extra time and the penalties so i'm not 100 percent sure what we're gonna do shall we just sque squeeze the istra game in Maybe maybe we will. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we will. We'll squeeze the Istra game in. So we'll be back for that game in just a second. So before we get into the next game, I did forget to mention we have a new member of Backroom staff. Sleepless Master joins us. Welcome to the Patreon Club. Welcome to NK Zaragev. You are in as a data analyst as that's what you wanted to be. And there you are. You're pretty good as well. Tens all around the board, which is very, very good. Geo um, is still on his, um, you know, Brexit made me leave rant i think is what we'll call it you're definitely in here where are you geo there you are still a fitness coach at react i'm gonna get you back one day i reckon you'll be back groveling coming here wanting your job back i can't believe you left us as head physio <laughs> so as we get to the games play istra this is how we line up aesov keeps his place in goal to massey skender mitrovic comes in for the suspended babok ramich is at left back merch replaces the suspended prince and a silver keeps his place in central midfield zerga mihakovic bamba and Paritin up front um, where is he mamut comes back onto the bench and buka comes on to replace mer who has gone into the starting lineup they line up in a 4-1-2-3 we are heavy heavy favorites for this game so i'm going to go out there and say uh we really should be winning this game and i want to say okay it seems i should be winning this game that's what we'll go with assertively there's a lot more to come we've got a few tired legs out there after the cup game but because they get like six weeks off after this game i'm just going to let them go through i don't i don't care about them sacking that guy let's get into the game this will be a lot more edited and cut out um because i'm running out of time for length of this episode first highlight Mer fires it in it's hit the post can we get on the rebound no we can't skender just couldn't get onto that rebound mihakovic tries to go around the outside of his man and mohar puts in a good tackle 
And uh, yeah, 20 minutes in and we hit the post with a free kick. Ramic takes the throw in, replacing Zeki Fries in the lineup today. Ramic is tackled well by Ilicic and David De Silva picks up. I need to call him David Silva. De Silva picks it up. Zerga flicks it out to Tumasi. Tumasi cuts it back. Zerga, who is tired after that cup game, saying he had a little bit of fatigue in the press, but he comes to De Silva! Shoots just past the post. Good football, though, from Zagreb. Half an hour in, and it looks like Istra are trying to build it up from the back, and they've got towards the halfway line, but have a pretty isolated figure up front. Mohar comes forward, puts a ball in. Perry Komic actually hits the bar. He's isolated, but good in the air, apparently. <laughs> Merck comes forward with it. It's a good ball out from the back. De Silva has a bit of time, lays it out to the right-hand side to Zergo. He's got lots of space to run into and attack his man, but Borovec gets back very well. Podrugoric then tries to build out again from the back with Istra. Borovec goes long. Skender will easily win that header. Mert into De Silva. De Silva goes out to Mirkovic. De Silva sort of controlling the play for Zagreb as the ball goes in towards Zagreb at the back post. He's hit the post and puts the rebound in. This time, after we hit the woodwork, it does go in the back of the net. Fourth goal of the season for Tom Zerg. And that puts Zagreb in a 1 0 up and a deserved lead because Istra, other than hitting the bar, haven't really done anything else. As Mirkovic cut across, ball across Zerga here. Left footed volley off the post onto his right foot and sticks it in an empty net. 1 0 Zagreb. Free kick. Mohar over it for Istada. Fires it in. Oh, Aesov. Seriously, he's been so good this season. And you get him on camera and he's an absolute melon. An absolute melon. Mohar here. Or Mohar hits a free kick. I mean, melon. Melon. That's all you can call him, Melon. So into half time then, 1-1. One, one. Uh, we're going to keep the team as it is. I'm just going to tell them that I'm not happy at all. We should be winning games like this. They seem fired up by that. They know they can play better. I mean, I would take it going into the winter break in third position would be absolutely incredible for, for us because, you know, we've slowly climbed the table throughout the seasons and, and now we're getting into a position where we're going to cement a European spot, hopefully. And um, But yeah, it would be great. But even then, we've still got a game in hand, which would, if we win it, only puts us a point off top, which is a, incredible. Moha again with a free kick, gets that one on target, and Aesov keeps this one out with a good save. Tumasi then tries to get it away. I think we just had a, a warning of an injury, but it was Mijakovic, who's actually not struggling. We're going to try, we're just going to make some subs. It's going to be Mamu on for Bamba, who's tired. And the other tired player is Zerga, but I sort of want to leave him on because he's playing so well. Uh, Mitrovic not having the best games, and neither is Tumasi. Maybe Longcar on for Tumasi again. Just the wing backs need to get up and down, so we need them to be fit and healthy and playing well as Longcar comes on. And uh, hopefully this will make the difference and get us the breakthrough. Corner comes in, Cruz towards the back post. Skender heads it away, but it falls to um, back to Mohar. Shoots from the edge, and Aesov sees that go past the post. And I've told us to attack a little bit wider. I'm just going to change that back down. Uh, to our normal attacking system, and let's see if that can help us. Going to go more fresh legs up front. It's going to be Koida on to replace Peritin. One lone replaces another one from Zurich, one from Hull, and hopefully again we can get a breakthrough. Mert into De Silva. He's fouled by Cruz. That should be a red card. Two yellows for Cruz. Uh, to me, uh, that's a name and a half. It's called him Philippe Cruz there, but it was like Thomas Piergen Zimbinjimbim. We're going to demand a bit more from them in the last six minutes of injury time. They're all focused after I shout at them, but isn't that going to be enough to get the breakthrough ball in? Skender will keep it alive. What can he do here? Lays it back to De Silva. De Silva goes out wide. That's a lovely ball. Merton, acres of space, tries to feed it across, but can't. Matos gets in the way of it, and there's three minutes to go. He just hoofs it long. Skender wins the header. It will fall to Marsek into Mikulic. Mikulic just takes his time on the ball. Marsek again into Mohar. Mohar goes around the tackle and lays it into Souza, who's got a little knock, but he still comes forward. Beats one. Good tackle. De Silva tries to go long to launch a counter-attack, but that's really poor, that pass. Should be Skender's ball, and it is, but can't find Merck. Rufati into Marsek. Back to Rufati again. Mohar. Mohar into Souza. Souza shoots from range, and he's absolutely belted that into the top corner, which is absolutely ridiculous. Because I bet you he's never done that before in his life. Fourth goal of the season for Gerson Souza, who has long shots of nine, everybody. Just keep that in mind when you see him ping this into the top corner from about 35 yards. As, uh, took a touch out of his feet, pinged it. I mean, unstoppable. Literally unstoppable. That is ridiculous. 2-1 down, and uh, that's going to be the game as it goes forward. We don't win the header. We do get a foul. But there's not going to be enough time to take it. And we end the first half of the season in pretty poor form, to be honest. That was very annoying. I don't see why Istra deserved that. They've got a man with long shots nine who's put in 
Um, a bullet wonder goal into the top corner. So annoying. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> but we do have a six-point gap um, over Ossiak. They have a game in hand on us, so it could be going down to three points. But, yeah, still, we win our game in hand. We are, what's that, uh, two points behind? We'll go to 34. Yeah, it would be two points off and drawing with Dynamo, but they've played the same amount of games as us. But they did draw with Hayduke, so that's not too bad. I can't believe we've lost that game. Absolutely shocking. Right, we will be back. Oh, I've said I'm going to ask you a question about whether you want me to do a transfer episode or not. I'm not going to do one this time because I'm probably going to record an episode and then do it all before you get a chance to actually see this episode. But um, I'm not going to do it this time. Let me know if you want to see a transfer episode and how I do mentoring and training and stuff in the future or should I just focus on doing games and let's go and get into Europe. Yeah, let me know. But for now, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. As you can see, we need another Patreon just to get the nice OCD-ness um, and the lines matching up and the columns matching up on each side. But thank you so much, everybody that supports the channel. If you want to buy merchandise, the links is in the description below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, that's all in the description below as well. Thank you for your support to the channel. Thank you to the Patreons for all their extra support they give. And for now, I'm out. Cheers.